Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. Now I have one of my Grail watches for you today. This is not one of my expensive Grail watches like a Rolex Deep Sea or some sort of Vacheron Constantin or Patek or Audemars Piquet Royal Oak, not one of those. This is one of my more affordable Grail watches and I've seen this watch around for years. It's been out for at least 10 years. Always wondered what it is, always wanted to get it. And I saw it the other day again, just happened upon it. And I was like, you know what? I am getting this watch. Anyway, today we have the G-Shock Sky Cockpit 200 meter solar atomic quartz. And this is model number GW-3000M-4AER. And as usual, we're gonna open it up, look at the style, the build quality, the functions, wearability, and loom. And then I'll let you know what I think of this really kind of sleeper Sky Cockpit by G-Shock. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon channel if you like this or any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. I do get a small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Now, this has been around for at least, gosh, I think about 10 years. This is actually a European model, and if you notice right here, it says EU right there for European Union. Uh, this is a European Master of G Gravity Master model. Uh, those get a little bit confusing sometimes. But anyway, this is a European model. Uh, again, I've wanted this watch forever. I've seen it, it's got solar, it's got atomic, 200 meters water resistant, perpetual calendar, all the stuff that I need, uh, all in analog format, which I like. Uh, I just think it's just a really, really cool looking watch. And honestly, I bought it really based on looks alone. It just happens to have some really cool features like the solar and atomic that I really like uh, in my quartz watches. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put up the basic specs on the left-hand side the screen. And then uh, we'll go over more about this watch. Man, I love this watch. It's my favorite new watch purchase in like the last, I don't know, two months. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get inside. You get a ton of junk <laughs> here. Uh, let me see what this is. Uh, disposal of battery, blah, 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 blah. Warranty card, yada, yada, yada. Something written in German. Again, this is a European model. What does this say? Um, Wave scepter, this has to do with your uh, atomic reception. Uh, I probably have to best get that atomic reception. What is this? Uh, like a little quick start guide if your watch stops operating. Here is the tag right there. Here is the manual written in multiple different languages. Look how thick that thing is. There you go. What is this? Register online. There you go. Really just boring crap, guys, but you know, anyway. Uh, mode switching, this has to do with your home city and world times, like another like quick little start guide right there. All right, so there's all that boring crapola. Let's open this up. And again, quick specs, and if you wanna see everything, just go ahead and freeze frame it, because this watch does do a lot of stuff, and it would just take me forever to verbally go over everything that it does. There we go, there it is, kind of like in its little cocoon. It's like it's waiting to be born. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> horrible baby impression, by the way. Anyway, and there you go. Golly, what a fantastic looking watch that is. Man, just love the way this thing looks. All right. Normally, I'm not like a bold color guy when it comes to my watches. Normally, I'm pretty conservative. I like black watches. I like, you know, grays, maybe some dark blues. Uh, but this orange, I don't know what it is about this particular kind of, a, it's like a blaze orange, like the same orange that a hunter would wear. Uh, you got the orange strap, you've got the uh, all the orange pops on the dial. I just think it's just an incredibly good looking watch. So anyway, so again, if you want to see all the specs, go ahead freeze frame it, but you're looking at a 49.8 millimeter stainless steel kind of sandwiched case. It's 15.5 millimeters thick. It's 52.5 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 21 millimeter resin strap. And again, freeze frame it if you wanna see everything else. So man, I just, again, I saw this watch uh, years ago. I think it's been out since at least 2010. And I was always, you know, I've always wondered what is that watch? And you know, I just kind of passed over it a few times, just didn't really think about it. But then again, I saw it the other day. I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm getting it. <laughs> I have to get this watch. Uh, I just love the overall look, design, uh, the indexes, the Arabic numerals, all the different, you know, subdials, uh, the handset, the, you know, the construction of the watch. You've got the stand, you know, the sandwiched stainless steel and resin case. You got those uh, brightly polished pushers. Normally, I like pushers that have like some knurling on them, but this just works. The orange pop right there. 
of the uh, the resin strap, uh, the functionality of the watch. You know, you've got atomic, you've got solar, you've got your day of the week over here at nine o'clock. Uh, I mean, you've got, you know, world time. If you want to track time in another time zone, you've got your date down there. You have one daily alarm. It doesn't have multiple alarms like one of the G-Shock squares. You just got one daily alarm. But I mean, it's just, you know, once you set it, you really do kind of forget it. It's got a perpetual calendar. So you never have to worry about setting the watch again so far as the date goes. Um, I mean, it's got a good enough power reserve. It's got a five month power reserve. Uh, it goes for 26 months in power save mode. So, you know, if you just put it in a drawer for it, it'll last for over two years without a charge, then it'll just spring back to life. Again, never have to worry about the calendar because once you set it, now I will say this, this watch is a pain in the ass, guys. I'm going to repeat that, a pain in the ass to set up. But once you do get it set up, you're good to go basically forever. <laughs> you never, you never have to worry about it. Now, for some reason you can't get your atomic reception and this will get your atomic reception. It'll try at least six times a day. Uh, and if it gets it on the first shot, it'll cancel all the other atomic reception attempts. So, you know, it's going to try at least six times a day. Again, if it gets it the first time you're good to go. Uh, but you know, it's just like any other quartz watch. It's average is about plus or minus 15 seconds a month accuracy. If you don't get an atomic reception, but if you face this near a window, face it towards Fort Collins, Colorado. So if you're on the West Coast, face it East. If you're on the East Coast, face it West. This is the antenna up here at the G-Shock logo up here at 12 o'clock. So just face it in the window and you shouldn't have any problem. Again, solar power, you don't ever have to worry about charging it. It charges an incandescent light, floor, you know, fluorescent light. Uh, but that, you know, the best light to use is actually outdoor, you know, outdoor sunlight. Uh, in a few hours, you're good to go. You know, just don't worry about it. This really is a set it and forget it type of watch. And that's why I love it. I like my watches now uh, where I don't have to put too much effort into them. I guess I'm getting a little bit lazy. I don't mind my, you know, don't mind my automatics, but I like this one because it's solar. So you never have to worry about power. Uh, it's atomic. So you never have to worry about accuracy. Plus it's just freaking great looking, man. I love this thing. All right, guys, let me show you the basic modes. Down here, what's this, about uh, eight o'clock? All right, that's actually stopwatch mode. You'll see the hands reset right there. You press up here to start, stop, and then reset. Now you're going into world time mode and the uh, three o'clock sub dial is gonna show you what world time it is. I think I've got it set it to Tokyo, which is about 12 hours ahead of us. This is the alarm. Now it's gonna show your alarm time over there at three o'clock, which I think I have set to seven o'clock. And I like that the hands are pretty fast, man. For an analog watch, I like that the hands are pretty fast on this was Not as fast as some of those Citizen Satellite Waves, but they're pretty quick. And then what we see, we go back to regular time mode. There you go. So that's, I mean, that's it. Those are your basic functions. You know, you got an alarm, a stopwatch, world time. Again, it's not going to have as many functions as the uh, G-Shock squares and some of the higher end G-Shocks, but it's got everything I need. So let's go ahead and uh, put this thing on. The uh, resin strap is a tad stiff. I mean, that'll it'll loosen up over time, but it still fits great. Oh man, it feels great. Good looking watch, man. Again, this uh, resin strap is proprietary, but you can get different color ones if you don't like the orange for whatever reason. But I like the you know I like that pop. There we go. Let's go ahead and check out the loom. And the loom is a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm really impressed by this loom. Let me kill everything here. All right. Now you don't have an LED backlight, just to let you know. I mean, they had to cram a lot of stuff in this watch. So no LED backlight, you know, because it's an analog, you've got different motors in there. So I just don't think they had the room or maybe they just didn't want to. I'm not quite sure. There's your loom. Really good loom. I'm, I'm impressed, man. Normally, uh, G-Shocks are not really known for their loom. That's kind of Seiko's territory, but a uh, decent loom. It would have been nice if they had loomed the uh, second hand. That would have been cool. But I mean, look at that loom, man. It's doing fine. Pretty good. All right, so I just want to show you all that stuff. On with the review. You can also do, it also has auto hand adjustment, so it's going to constantly adjust those hands. So if it experiences like a big shock or something, it'll automatically adjust all these hands. You can also manually adjust these hands, uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, if you look at the 
crystal, you'll notice that it's slightly domed. See that magnification right there? And I didn't really notice that until I took a closer look. It's slightly domed. Just a guy's a you know, crazy good looking watch, I think. I love it. Again, you know, the orange is not normally my bag. Gotta sound like I'm from the 60s. Not normally my bag, man. Uh, not normally my bag, but I just love it. I think it's really cool. Let me go show you some of these uh, macro shots. I took quite a few. All right, you're looking at the case back right here. Of course, this is made in Japan, which I didn't notice until I, you know, took a closer look. Here's a picture of a close-up of the dial. Here's the dial over at 3 o'clock with that date window. Here's the dial down there at 6 o'clock. Here's the dial at 9 o'clock. This is your, uh, your day and your daylight savings time sub-dial. There we are up at 12 o'clock. Here's a picture of the G-Shock logo. Here's a good shot of that sandwich case. You got stainless steel and resin and those brightly polished pushers. Here's a close-up of the strap and the pin that goes in there. This is a proprietary strap, by the way. Here are a couple of some details of the strap. You got the uh, G-Shock logo there. And here are the holes in the strap with like that little kind of knurling kind of action going on in a strap. So guys, again, I love this watch. Probably my favorite watch purchase in the last couple months. Uh, crazy accurate, great looking, never have to worry about it. Um, and it's relatively cheap. Now I actually got this on eBay from a seller in Europe, uh, actually Spain specifically. Um, and it was about $270. I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and put a link to Amazon so you can pick it up. I think it's $299 on Amazon with free shipping. But, you know, head on over to eBay if you want to. I mean, it'd be great if you bought it from me. But, hey, man, you know, money is money. I understand saving 40 or 50 bucks is more important than supporting your favorite watch YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, head on over to either Amazon or eBay. Pick this thing up. You will not regret it. You're going to get a lot of compliments I already have on this watch. People are like, what is that? And I was like, you know, it's a, it's a G-Shock. Uh, it's a Gravity Master slash Master of G slash Sky Cockpit. It's got, you know, quite a few names to it. I just think it's a fantastic watch, man. I love this thing. So anyway, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description field. Like I said, head on over there to Amazon and pick one up if you like it. And guys, as always, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell if you like my content. I hope you do. Whenever you like and subscribe, that really helps our YouTube numbers and our analytics and it helps our channels grow. So if you like the content I'm giving you, you know, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. So guys, that's been about it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. I have got a huge review coming up probably tomorrow if i get them today i think I, oops i kind of let the cat out of the bag a little bit all right there are multiple watches in one review if i get them today uh the review will be up tomorrow i think anyway so uh, it might be a couple more days after that but anyway guys thanks for watching so much and i appreciate it and i'll see you on the next review take care Bye bye